be a good day. Even if I make it myself, it's gonna be a good day. I don't need no one else. I'm gonna have a good day. Nothing wrong I could do. I'm gonna have a good day. Hope you have a good day too. Good morning, I'm Trish Pahanik and this is Synopsis, your first early morning briefing. Kicking off the work week, it's Monday, October 29th, 2007, and here is today's top story. Well, Debmar Mercury will bring out American Chopper and Deadliest Catch in syndication, available in September 2008 and 2009, respectively. Now, both shows will be offered its two-year deals and available as a weekly on a straight barter basis. Discovery will oversee the ad sales. Handling the syndication deal from Discovery's end is Joel Berman, brought in as a consultant on several projects by Discovery CEO David Zaslov. Lytton Entertainment will take two MTV series into syndication, Pimp My Ride and Cribs, both available in fall 2008. Terms call for either a weekly or strip deal, and both shows currently have more than 100 episodes available. We have more coming up next, and remember, if you had a promo or a commercial in this video, we'd all be watching your stuff right now. Coming up under more good stuff, Hulu.com beta test launches today, new series Carrier coming to PBS this spring, Syndicator returns to the nappy floor and Fox wins Thursday and CBS takes Friday in the demo ratings. Well expected to launch today is the beta version of the online video site Hulu.com set up by NBC and Fox to rival the major viral video sites such as YouTube, VO, and Google. Available on the site and full shows from NBC and Fox, as well as programs provided by Sony and MGM, including The Office, King of the Hill, The Simpsons, Monk, and older programs such as The Pretender, Picket Fences, and Miami Vice. The site also promises to offer up to 10 feature films, among them The Blues Brothers and The Breakfast Club. Well, ever wonder what it would be like living on a U.S. Navy aircraft carrier that is 24 stories high and equivalent in length to three football fields with 5,300 Navy personnel? PBS will air a new series next spring called Carrier that reveals daily life on board the USS Nimitz. Carrier debuts April 27 through May 1, 2008, from 9 to 11 p.m. each night on PBS affiliates. Check local listings in your area. Well, Nappy 2008 returns to Las Vegas this year on January 28th through the 31st at the Mandalay Bay and returning to the convention floor in its first post-Robertson year will be Warner Brothers Domestic Television Distribution. Among Warner Brothers' first-run project in development that may be part of their offerings this January is The Bonnie Hunt Show. Moving along to production and development, CBS has given a put pilot commitment to a new project called Private Lives of Public People about three adult siblings and community leaders whose private lives are in complete disarray as compared to their neatly tailored public lives, reports THR. This project is from Jonathan Grofe and 20th Century Fox TV. And THR reports a second project from 20th, a comedy from Abraham Higginbotham that has been picked up by Fox. The storyline takes place among the staff of a well-to-do New York hotel. Here's the rating summary for Thursday and Friday. Fox slid into home Thursday night winning with a 5.014, adult 18 to 49, according to final national ratings from Nielsen Media Research. At 8 o'clock, CBS Survivor won at a 4.512. ABC's Grey's Anatomy had a big victory during 9 o'clock with a 7.418. Also this hour, the season premiere of NBC's Scrubs at 9.30 did a 3.89. The World Series on Fox had the final win of the night at 10 o'clock, posting a 6.016. Now switching over to Friday night, CBS was number one with a 2.68 adult 18 or 49, and that of course is according to fast affiliate ratings from Nielsen Media Research. CBS not only won the night, but each hour of primetime with its supernatural lineup. At 8 o'clock, Ghost Whisperer led with a 2.710. During 9 o'clock, Moonlight bit back with a 2.48, and at 10 o'clock, numbers racked up a winning 2.78. 
Well, that's a wrap for this Monday, October 29th. Be sure to check your email for the full printed version of today's synopsis with new executive moves, more on ratings, a couple new classified ads, and a few other stories that did not make it into this podcast. And, of course, don't miss tonight's primetime broadcast lineup. The music in synopsis was composed and performed by David Stango. This podcast is a Synopsis Media production in association with 311 West. For Cynthia Turner, who wrote and compiled synopsis in Connecticut, I'm Trish Pahonic. I'm gonna have a good day Even if I make it myself I'm gonna have a good day I don't need no one else I'm gonna have a good day Nothing wrong I could do I'm gonna have a good day Hope you have a good day too